Okay, so let me kind of explain what's going on here. This white thing that you see is actually the top Formica layer off of the old fuel tank lid. I was able to strip this off, and uh, that in large part is going to be what I'm going to use as a template. These pieces extend off of this piece of wood, so uh, I'm going to have to actually make this, uh, this new lid in two pieces. Which, uh, I'm gonna have to do that anyways, because if I were to make this lid to the original dimensions, it would not fit through the companion way of the boat. So it's gonna have to be a two-piece lid. So that's, uh, that's what you're looking at here. The upper formica layer of the old fuel tank lid. And I'm gonna start laying this thing out. My belt set. My belt. My belt. Okay, we got it beveled out at a 45 degree angle on all four sides. So this is the main piece. Now I've got to make a, you know, a little end cap for it and then another little, you know, step that's attached to the end cap that the big piece will actually rest on on the narrow end up there. And then all of this stuff is going to get sheathed in fiberglass and then have two or three layers of epoxy as well to waterproof it and, you know, strengthen it. But so far, so good. All right, first layer of epoxy on the main lid. Boy, that looks nice. Look at that. Look at that shininess. Uh, this is going to be the front half of the lid. This is the back half of the lid. And this, this big thick piece right here, I'm going to laminate these two pieces together and actually make a bit of a, a lip for this big piece to rest on. And I don't want to just, you know, rely on a seal between these two, you know, pieces of wood on this uh, beveled edge right here. I've got to make it kind of a mechanical seal somehow. And that's what this 
is going to end up being once I get them uh, laminated together, cut down to size, and then, you know, glued onto the bottom side of this. You'll see. It'll make more sense as I get further in the process. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is drilling the holes that the hardware is going to go through the lid and into the fiberglass of the boat. And to do that, I bought something called a boring bit. And uh, I don't, I'm not real sure why they call it that. I mean, it looks pretty exciting to me. But uh, yeah, the purpose of this thing is just to drill nice, straight, clean holes. And uh, that is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to start going through here, drilling big holes in this wood, which I'm going to come back and fill with epoxy. And then I'm going to re-drill the final hole so that that way you know there's absolutely no exposed wood on this anywhere. All right. So time to get to work with this boring bit. <laughs> holes are drilled this is the small piece that's the big piece over there and now I have to shape this laminated board here into the shelf I guess I'm gonna call it all right there it is this is the little uh, shelf block and this is the underside of the end of the tank this is gonna be kind of right in here like that this piece of wood represents the fiberglass that this board sits on. Now all of this is upside down, so this is going to be the underside of the tank right here. This is going to be the underside of the tank right here, like that. Then the sides of the tank, they come up like this, that kind of an angle. That's why these blocks are angled. And then right here on the underside of this block is where that piece will rest. So that's the idea. I've got this little guy cut down to size. This is going to be where the water goes in. I actually chopped off that much off the bottom to shorten it up. Now it's basically the same thickness as the wood. So this will be installed right there and the, the inspection port will be installed right there. So I'm about to epoxy the inside edges of this hole and this hole. And then I'm going to install this and go ahead and put a coat of epoxy on the small piece and the big piece.
All right, and there you have it. Man, look how shiny that stuff is. And uh, this is the underside of the lids. What you're looking at there is the fill port. This is where the water will go in. And everything's looking pretty darn good so far. Got some bad news. See all these shavings on the floor? Well, those shavings are from drilling out my epoxy filled holes. These things just did not cure up. And I don't know whether it is because I put this epoxy in when it was pretty cold outside. You know, it was probably in the 40s. Um, or if it's just uh, that I need some kind of filler in it, like, you know, like some of this uh, milled glass fiber stuff to really give it some strength. I don't know what the problem is, but the fact of the matter is I have to drill all of these holes out and redo them. Look at this mess. Oh man, I have drilled out all of these holes. I have kind of caused some damage in some places like this too that have to be, you know, fixed back up, but this one's drilled out and ready for tape. And this one is drilled out, taped, and ready to be filled. So, yes, yes, all in a day's work. And all the holes are now refilled with epoxy that has fiberglass fibers mixed into it. There are actually 50 holes in all, and they are no longer clear. Cross your fingers. Hopefully this stuff is super duper... Uh, firm and is going to work good for holding hardware when uh, this stuff is cured. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. I do not want to drill that stuff out again. Okay, there are the lids. Let me show you how these will end up going together in the boat. Actually, here. Here, will you film this for me? Sure. Oh, a little shirt promotion. There's the new shirt. <laughs> Okay, here you go. This small piece will go in first, like this. And then I'll, you know, all this will get sealed in there with silicone. I'll put the hardware in. And then this piece. And then put all that hardware in. Put the inspection port in there. Hook up the water fill thingy to that hole. And then it's done. Mm -hmm. And now there's there's something new about this water hole, right? What? From the last one. What are you talking about? You moved it. Oh, yes, yes. The original water hole used to be somewhere kind of in this area. Right? And this is Tamby's side over here. I moved it down here so it'll be less in her way because it was kind of hard to... It was kind of hard to sleep with over there, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Oh my gosh.